What's up guys, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're taking a look at the Schrade SCHF 42. Now I saw this out at SHOT Show 2015, was over at the Schrade booth, and uh, this is kind of looking like a smaller brother, a younger brother to the SCHF 9 and the 9N. So if you like that design, but you wanted something a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit different, this could be a really good knife. So this is also known as something from their Frontier series. So we'll give you some of the specs, we'll show you what it looks like in use, and give you some thoughts on the SCHF 42. All right, we'll start off with some of the specs here. Once again, this is the Schrade Frontier Full Tang Fixed Blade Knife. It is 1095 higher carbon steel. It does have a grivery handle, which if you're a bushcrafter, you're gonna feel this knife and think, yeah, nice smooth handle like a lot of bushcrafters like. Um, it is premium black leather for the sheath, and we'll show you that in one moment. Your blade length, 5.12 inches, handle length, 4.83 inches. End to end, it is 9.95 inches, and it's 0.62 pounds. Here's a look at the sheath. It does fit in quite nicely. Um, I do want to note that there is no liner for the sheath. Um, if you've seen some other uh, bushcraft and survival knives, you'll know that they put sometimes a plastic liner inside the sheath. Not the case uh, for this blade. At this sheath, it does. it is black, but it's kind of got a little bit of a brown tinge to it. So just a heads up as far as, you know, if you're looking into purchasing this knife. Um, you can see as far as the knife, you got the blade, you got the handle, you do have an exposed pommel on the end, and I'll show you that up close in a second. And um, I do, I, I would call this a bushcraft knife, or closer to a bushcraft knife, depending on, you know, what your definition is. This this falls into my category for being more of a bushcraft knife, but it's got a feel kind of leaning a little bit towards survival knife as well, just by its size and the overall structure of the knife. So if you're, you know, looking for something that's going to go across both those categories, this could be an option for you to check out. Here's a look at the knife in the sheath. You can see on snap and then easy enough to deploy. Um, just a heads up putting it back in. You gotta be careful with the blade because you can actually start cutting these, uh, these uh, straps here on the clasp. So do that and then it takes a little bit of English to get it, there you go, locked back in. But it rides nicely and as is the case for most knives when you have a sheath on the belt, it's gonna move back and forth like this. So it's going to go as far as your loop, but that's just a, a heads up. But it does ride nicely, not too low, not too high. And because the leather is pretty thick here, it's not like it's moving all around. Nice and secure. Some initial thoughts on the 42. First thing is I want to note the jimping here. So it's uh, it's on the, I would say, leaning toward uh, aggressive. It's not terrible, but um, I do like having um, gloves on when I'm using this. I uh, was holding the SOG Seal Strike recently, and that is what I would call very aggressive. If you're a bushcrafter and you don't want any jimping um, on your on the spine of your blade, this is not going to be the one for you because it is definitely jimping, and it's, it's going to tear your hand up if you're using it doing fine work for a long time. I don't mind it. Definitely do like having um, the gloves on, though. Palm swell, just a tiny bit here in the handle, and I like that. It feels like I, I got good control. I'm used to a knife like this actually having a little bit more of a choil here. So when I first picked it up, my tendency was to go like this, but obviously that's the blade. The finger guard is not huge, but something to be aware of. You're probably not going to be doing a whole lot of chopping with this. It's just not big enough to do that. I do want to note that it does say Griffin Design here on the back side as well as SCHF 42. And then your pommel here textured so you could probably use that for you know some crushing and breaking not super aggressive use because it's not sticking out uh, too far I think the Schrade SCHF 3 or 3N I can't remember the name right now but it does have a pommel that's probably a little bit more aggressive if you want something um, that sticks out a little bit farther and is a bigger survival knife but overall um, I like the look I like the feel of it again um, got that that kind of general um, pattern design similar to the SCHF 9 and the 9N. That being said, let's test this out. We'll do some batoning and uh, use it a little bit more aggressively and tell you what we think. All right, we're going to start off with some batoning for the SCHF 42, and uh, we'll show you what that looks like. And I asked him to use both the belly and then uh, further down on the knife. So he's uh, he's tried both of those just to show you what that looks like. Most people I know, they, they kind of go right where he's using the blade right now as far as making the feather stick. But it seems like you can do you can do both. Use both parts of the blade. So here's your end result. So certainly some of that more fine detail work is going to be uh, quite, quite possible with the 42. 
Next uh, test will be for tip strength, and you can probably see that darker spot on the wood is a knot, so I'm going to really jam it in there and see if there's any issues as far as that strength. Here's a look at the tip of the knife after the stab test, and uh, quite good. I don't see any bends or any issues with it whatsoever. This next test will be a chop test, and just by the size and weight of this knife, it's certainly not built as a chopper, but you know, if this was the only knife you had out in the woods, camping, bushcrafting, survival, something like that, I want to see if it could hold up. So we're going to work on this locust branch a little bit. Back here in the studio now to wrap up our review of the Schrade SCHF 42. Let me tell you some of the things I liked about this knife. I like the grivery handle, very smooth, very comfortable. Tiny bit of a swell right here, just a tiny, tiny one in the uh, handle, but that makes it quite comfortable. Sometimes I find knives that have a palm swell and it's just too big and it makes it just big and clunky to, to hold it and to use it. This is, I just like the feel of the handle when I'm actually holding onto the knife. My opinion is if you're gonna put a pommel on a knife, make it a little bit aggressive at least. And so they've done that with some texturing here and then you have the hole in there so you can run a lanyard through. Now you got a pair, some paracord maybe on a uh, knife you're taking out to the woods. Uh, I like the length of the blade. For me, any blade that gets a, not too much, but a little bit, you know, maybe an inch longer than this, it starts to get into, I just prefer to move into the machete. I don't like a super large blade. That's just my preference. So this is a good size for me when I'm out in the woods. Um, when it comes to the uh, shape of the blade, I like that as well. So this doesn't have a huge belly, but it does have some belly. For some people, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge to sharpen just by, uh, you know, how the, the angle of the, um, of the blade. So keep that in mind. You may want to, you know, find somebody who can help you uh, learn how to do it or have somebody sharpen it for you if you're not super comfortable with that. The one thing, um, kind of as far as the design that I'm not a big fan of, is this jimping right here. You do have close to, if not a 90 degree spine here. You can throw sparks off this. I have done that with a ferro rod. So if you took the jimping out, you might have a very, you know, steep angle on uh, on the spine here. But I, this jimping is just too aggressive for me. If I was going to be using this a lot all day long doing fine work, that would just beat my thumb up. Even if I was wearing gloves, I think, ah, eh, just a little bit too aggressive for me. Um, so if they smoothed that out, maybe even rounded that section out a little bit and then kept this as a 90 degree spine, that could be a good compromise. I would say overall, the thing for me that strikes me about the SCHF 42, it takes me back to the SCHF 36, 37, and 38, and I'll put a link down below to uh, those knives in this uh, video description, but they called those bushcraft knives, and I would call those more survival knives. Um, they kind of, they had a lot of features that were similar to what I would call a standard survival knife. This one kind of crosses between, so it's got some features what I consider, you know, more standard for a survival knife. So a little bit longer blade than your average bushcraft knife. It's usually a little bit shorter for a bushcraft knife. Um, the jimping, you're not going to find on a ton of bushcraft knives, um, at least the ones that I like, because those knives are going to be using, you know, a lot of whittling and fine work, and so you don't want to beat your hand up if you're using it all day long. So this one's kind of a mix in between those two. I think, you know, if they would... Uh, take that jimping out. I think that could make this a very uh, capable and basically in my definition it would fall into a bushcraft knife. This is kind of jumping between those two two worlds. So if I was going to go straight up survival knife from Schrade, I'd do something probably like the SCHF uh, 3N or the 9N. And uh, if I was going to do something more along the bushcraft line, I'd probably move into this. Um, but there are some features on it that I would prefer were removed if it was just a straight bushcraft knife. Overall, though, I think it's it's a good move for Schrade. Um, again, this is kind of the baby brother to the uh, SCHF9, and uh, I like it. If you don't want a blade that's as long, and that one's got kind of a lot of extra stuff, this one definitely has more of a bushcraft feel. And when you add in this leather sheath, I think you can see why you know people would call this a bushcraft knife. 
So that's my overall opinion. I think you know if you want to get into this size survival knife and you don't want to spend a ton of money, this could be a, a good option for you to check out from Schrade. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.